Hello, and how's everybody going? So, I got tagged by Mark Bryan for a Tamaya video on uh, pretty much just sh show a couple of your favorite Tamayas, talk about them. And I'll go ahead and throw in a few video clips and uh, do a quick tour of some of what I have on the shelf here. But uh, I'm going to start off with my CCO1 because this is probably one of my favorites. I've got the most money wrapped up in it, that's for sure. And I've done quite a bit to it. Now I'll take the, the body off here so you can get a better look at what's going on. Let me unplug my wire harness. It's got full lighting inside. Tail lights, headlights, lights on the rack. But underneath is where we start to get to all the good stuff. So I've relocated the bumper. That would normally be underneath there, which is a, a hindrance when you're trying to crawl. I've relocated it up top here. And I have an 80 turn motor in it, an RC four wheel drive motor, a 20 kilogram servo, metal servo arm, a 60 amp ESC, and lots of hop ups. Aluminum A arms, full ball bearings, aluminum skid plates, uh, aluminum four links, along with the cantilever drop suspension in the rear. I've also got uh, wheel adapters to stick them out a bit further. And I've got aluminum beadlock rims on this one with RC four-wheel drive Baja claw tires. Aluminum servo mount, uh, the aluminum motor mounts down below. And this thing performs great. Uh, I'm very happy with this truck. I, I like it a whole lot. Oh, let's see, what else do I have in there? Oh, I've got the uh, also the aluminum uh, upper shock mounts. All in all, this is just a great truck, so I thought I'd share that one with you first. So I've got probably the, the most time and money in this one, and I probably actually have the most drive time on this one, too. I take this one out quite often. It's a great trail truck. Well, all right, let me uh, set up a, another one to look at real quick. And just by default, because it's sitting on the desk, you also get a sneak peek at my Sonic Fighter restoration. Okay, another one of my favorites is my Bullhead. Uh, this is an amazing truck. I don't know if anybody's ever out there owns a Claude Buster or a, or a Bullhead, but these things are just a super amount of fun. Now this one I've got some custom work done to as well. Little pins off of it. That way color changing chameleon paint job on it then inside see I've relocated my battery tray to the inside I 3d printed this battery tray and put it in here because the original battery boxes I kept knocking the battery out and then running over the battery and ripping the leads off my ESC uh, that, that wasn't working out too well for me and then I've got it internal it's, it's nice and safe and stays in place real good I've got a 60 amp hobby wing ESC in it and a fly sky receiver. And I've got uh, Traxxas oil filled shocks for four of the shocks. And then the, the standard spring bouncers for the other four. And I have two 20 turn RC four wheel drive motors in there. And this thing's just a ton of fun. I mean, it even floats. But it's just a, to me, this is just the true monster truck. When I started getting into Tamayas, this is something I always wanted. Either this or the Claude Buster, but I wanted the Bullhead because I like that big rig body better. Well, that's the second one I have to, to show you. If, you. if anybody watches my channel, they know I play with this thing quite a bit. Well, I'll move on to another one. All right. So here's my Man Array. And I had a lot of trials with this one. This is a vintage Manta Ray, so it, it is a 
It was a little bit challenging. I had to replace a lot of parts. There's a lot of brittle things in it. And this is still the original body that came on it. I, I would like to replace that at some point. But I have HSP micro spike tires, aluminum shock tower, Hobby Wing 60 amp ESC, Ghoul Racing brushless motor. That's, this baby cooks along pretty good. Uh, once I got everything where I wanted it, I, I, I really enjoy this vehicle. I also have. Uh, I don't know how easy you can see them in there, but the aluminum uh, knuckles at the end. I broke those a couple times, so I went with the aluminum. haven't had any problems since. And it's, I've replaced, it's got a, oh, all new gearing on the inside. I've replaced all the gears on the inside. Uh, I've put a full ball bearing kit in it. And as I said, this thing really smokes. <laughs> I really enjoy driving this one. It's it's just a fun buggy to drive in general. Nice and got the suspension set up nice and ploppy. Well, all right, I'll be grabbing another one for you. Well, here's my lunch boxes. Got got the big boy and the baby. Now this is a pretty neat one. Now this one is all stock. I haven't really done anything to it other than uh, I think I put in a, a 20 kilogram servo in it, and that's. That's about it on this one as far as upgrades go. But ton of fun. You can steer this one while it's in wheelie mode and, and it just loves to ride a wheelie. I'll set that little guy over here. And then you got the old Vanessa's lunchbox. I think the only thing I've really done to this one is uh it does have a a 20 kilogram servo in it, uh, full ball bearings, and I have a, a sport tuned or a sport tuned uh, motor in there. And other than that, uh, I've just driven this thing and had a good time with it. Everybody should own a lunchbox. They're just a, a bouncy good time. If if you haven't owned one, they're not very expensive, and I guarantee if you buy it, you will not be disappointed. It'll put a smile on your face every time you drive it. Well, let's move on. Okay, so I got my vintage Blackfoot. I haven't done a whole lot to this one other than drive it. Uh, it does, uh, I did blow the transmission out of it. I need to fix that. It's got that classic frog transmission that blows out pretty easy because of those thin sidewalls. I've got a kit for it. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Um, other than replacing the parts because this one is vintage, the only thing I've done to it hop-up wise is... I did add this MRP like sway bar set for the rear end. That gives a little bit more stability. Other than that, it's just running a silver can motor and all stock. And I think I put the red rims on it instead of the uh, originals. But uh, I haven't really done a whole lot with it other than drive it and have fun with it. This is uh, this is a vintage one. Another one's fun to have in the collection. I just uh, I'm not a big fan of these transmissions. All right, I'll grab another. Okay, uh, this is my most recent build, the TT-02. That's got it sitting on drift wheels right now. And other than the ball bearings, this thing is, is fully factory, all stock parts. And uh, I probably have the least amount of drive time on it because it's so new. And really fun car. I'm really enjoying it. I know there's a lot I can do with that one. And then I have my uh, DF-03RA. Yeah, I got a, a, a torque tune motor in it. Other than that, I have not done much else to it. Other than switch the bodies around. Right now, it's got the Corvette body on it. And I also have the Subaru body for it. And both of these are a lot of fun. I really like my rally cars, so this thing's a blast. I throw the drift tires on it sometimes, too. Oh, for the next set. All right, so I have my Grasshopper, which I've renamed the Bash Hopper. And that's full ball bearings. Uh, it's got a Traxxas 60 amp waterproof ESC, a 19 turn uh, Trinity Chameleon motor in it, a few other little upgrades, and this little guy just bounces around like crazy. It really earns the Grasshopper name. I've 
currently got to replace one of the steering arms here in the front. I, I broke a steering knuckle. Another one of those ones I got the parts in, but haven't got it replaced yet. And then sitting beside it is my MF01X, and it is also a little rally car, a uh, little rally beetle. I've hydro dipped this one. And this car is a blast. Probably my favorite to my rally chassis. It's got a Yeah Racing oil shocks on it. A 20 turn RC four wheel drive motor. And it has a 60 amp Hobby Wing ESC. A 20 uh, kilogram servo. All ball bearings. And this little guy is a riot. I highly suggest this to anybody who just likes to bounce around. This thing, it, it, it just, it drives like a maniac. I absolutely love this car. Well, I'm just kind of grabbing them off the shelf in order how I have them sitting up there. So let me grab a couple more. Okay, now both of these are vintage. Both of them I have restored. At the moment, I have all the electronics out of the Frog. Uh, the Frog is the Tamai I love to hate. Every time I drive this thing, it breaks. <laughs> no matter what I do, I break it every time I take it out. That's why I currently have the electronics out of it. I, I blew the tranny out of it again. But I have uh, I have quite a few little upgrades on it. I've got the, the aluminum nerf bars on the side. Um, I've upgraded uh, to some nice little paddle tires off of a grasshopper. Uh, I've got the aluminum rear bumper. It's things like this I've put in there trying to... Uh, improve it and <laughs> and help not break it so much but that is not the case I, I mess this little guy up every time i take him out this is a full ball bearing and this is the vintage body it's still the original body i got on it when i purchased off of ebay this was my first vintage restoration probably a year ago i did this one and sitting beside it was my second vintage restoration which is my Thundershot. This car is great. I, I absolutely love this one. Uh, I went through this thing and I replaced almost every single piece of it from the chassis up. I mean, it, it's got a new chassis sitting underneath. It's got uh, every part I could find on eBay, a new body, which I painted up and ordered the... Uh, the sticker kit to, to redo that and I painted up the driver and I'm still running a old school Futaba electronic ESC in there and it has a Shapeways strength and drive shaft that's supposed to actually help strengthen the chassis under compression because they they broke right in this area a lot and I had the Shapeways bumper on the front but it, it snapped on me the the first run unfortunately but I do have the, another bumper to put back on it. And I 3D printed the A5 part in the front that everybody breaks. I just 3D print them out and they've, they've held up pretty good for me. And I've also got the Shapeways skid plate underneath. This has helped out a lot. I'm still running the stock motor. I pr I'll probably end up upgrading it at some point just to give it a little more speed. But for now I've been running it on that little, I don't know if it's a 530 can. It's a little bit smaller than a 540 can. So I'm not really 100% sure what it is. But it's full ball bearing and absolutely love this thing. This was the the original th body that came on it. And it's it's pretty beat up compared to the new one. All right, I think I only have uh, probably one more to throw up here for you. A okay, last but absolutely not least is my King Yellow. Talk about a fun ride. This thing is an absolute blast. I take it through the forest and bounce it off of tree stumps, rocks, and in the snow, the mud. It doesn't matter. This thing loves it all. That loose dirt, gravel, it's, it's just an absolute blast. Uh, I've got the stop sign working. It does come out on the third channel. And I've done it up in Simpson style. I got auto driving, Bart hanging out the side. Oh, Satan's little helper in the back. And you can't forget about Homer. Got him peeking out that window. And I really don't have a whole lot done to this one. This is pretty much all stock settings. I mean, I even have uh, the plastic bushings in it. 
and I haven't had a problem out of them yet. I really packed them in with grease when I put them in there. I imagine maybe one day I'll have to take them out and change them, but so far I've been I've been driving it since uh, I don't know, probably almost a year on it, and so far so good, no problems at all. I haven't haven't had a single break it out of it whatsoever. I've been pretty rough on this thing. Oh, that's the uh, the last of my Tamiya collection I have to show off for you. I'll put together a, a nice little montage of what video clips I have available. And for my three tags, I would like to tag Shin RC because I know Steve's got an absolutely amazing collection of Tamiyas. And I would also like to tag Filthy Co. RC because he's got probably some of the fastest Tamiyas I've ever seen on YouTube. And for the third, I want to tag my buddy TSO Day. He's got uh, probably not as big of a collection of Tamiyas, but he's passionate about them, and he just makes really fun videos. So, guys, if you want to do those videos, that'd be awesome. If not, not a big deal either. It's all about fun. Well, on an out note, I'll leave you with this little montage of some of my Tamiyas bashing around. Hope you enjoyed this, everybody. Have a great day.